Uncle Chael, what's up? Big fan. Um, quick, quick fan question. My favorite fighter, Sean O'Malley. Um, I'm curious what you think or how you think he stacks up in the bantamweight division. Me personally, I feel like uh, I feel like there's not very many guys in that division that can touch him. He's so he's so long, so fast, so accurate, so technical, um, and, and he's just in my eyes the champ right now. Um, but I'm curious, how do you think he stacks up with, with these uh, top top guys? Um, I know him and Cody have been going back and forth. You know, me me personally, I think he gets the job done in the first first round of knockout. Um, but curious what you think of Sugar Sean O'Malley. Thanks. Chad, thank you for the question. I'm a big fan of yours too. And I have to tell you, Sean O'Malley is a very good fighter. Okay, ding, ding, ding. Who's not? Sean O'Malley has a very good record. Okay, who in the top five of any division doesn't? Sean O'Malley is a creative genius who finds a way to separate himself from the pack. And whether he does that through dress, whether he does that through association, whether he does that on Instagram through making videos where he's on one leg because he had a bum knee and I'm going back about 18 months ago, but he's doing a workout out by the pool with his mitt coach. I mean, there's something about him that's very interesting. Sean O'Malley is the first guy in the history of the sport, any organization, to cut his post-fight interview flat on his back with Joe Rogan kneeling by his side. I mean, there's a way that you can use a moment. And I'll look back at many of the other greats, and you can beg a guy who's on his way up and trying to separate himself from the pack, trying to make sure that his story is the story that gets told and gets listened to and resonates with the fan. You can try to do that, but the very first thing you have to do is to make sure that that individual understands the value in telling a good story and the, the value within this sport and industry of separating yourself from the pack. As simple as that may sound, Chad, I'm telling you, a lot of guys don't even know that that needs to be a goal that they go out and do. Now, once you identify that that is something I want to do, you have the bigger question of how do I do it, right? I mean, you can read all the business books you want. There's really three steps to business. You have an idea, you have funding, and you have execution. The reason I bring that up is much like people that want to be some jerk because they read a book that Warren Buffett wrote about the stock market, and they'll tell you, buy low and sell high and try to sound like the smart guy in the room. That's really not a great idea. What's wrong with buying high and selling higher? The answer is there's nothing wrong with it. It just isn't your factory answer. And I tie this into Sean O'Malley because I do like what Sean is doing with his career, which is I'm healthy now, I'm licensed now, and I want to fight the top guys right now. I don't like the idea that we need to hold Sean back because he has some kind of star factor. I do believe that he has star, uh, star factor. I just am seeing a guy with a tremendous shelf life. I think he's got another decade in him. I think he might be the John Jones of that weight class. I don't see anything right now stopping him. And I could give you a most recent example of his fight with Wyland. Wyland is nobody's fool, has never been anybody's fool, has been a top contender and a champion himself for a meaningful period of time. And much like many other guys that tried to test a fisticuffs with Sean O'Malley, he couldn't make it outside of five minutes. And when you start talking about a guy's age and his youthfulness, Sean at right around 25, 26 years old, you look at his youthfulness, what you're really talking about as an athlete is that you do naturally get stronger. Some of that man strength is just naturally going to come in as you get to 30. And now we're even seeing athletes going closer to 32, 34, and 36 years old before they're reaching this physical peak and prime. That's really the only benefit that you get. And yes, there's something to be said for strength, but how many damn seconds do you want Sean O'Malley to knock somebody out for? He knocks that guy out for one second, the referee's going to stop the fight. Who is here arguing, telling Sean that he needs to go slow and hold him back a little bit so that he can get some of this strength away so he can leave the guy out cold for 9 and 10 and 11 seconds? One second will do. News flash to the world. Sean O'Malley is strong enough right now. If Sean O'Malley is willing enough, and he is, and he is ready enough, I say put him in. There is a responsibility when you have with a guy who is dynamic like Sean O'Malley, who is starching people, who is leaving them face down and embarrassed, getting stretchered out of the ring. You have a responsibility to put him in there with top guys like Wyland, in all fairness, with world championship caliber guys like Garbrandt, by example, like Aldo, by example, like Yawn, by example. 
like Sterling, like Sandhagen. Yes, I still believe Sandhagen's the top guy and 40 seconds of action isn't going to change my mind on that. I'm just sharing with you when you're having these conversations about the best guys in the world at 135 pounds, you have to throw O'Malley in. Oh, and by the way, there's a second storyline to this, which is this kid is getting ready to light things on fire. And if you think that that champ champ narrative that's floating around the industry right now isn't very much in a young Sean O'Malley's mind, you're wrong. He's in a race to get that 135 pound strap so that he can leave it and go get that 145 pound strap. He might even go after the 55 pound strap. That's the only difference you're going to see in his youth is at some point he's going to want to change weight classes. Very natural and very normal, but it's not incumbent upon us to hold a guy back. It is our job to support a guy in his wishes when he's willing to go out and do it. And by the way, happens to have an incredible record.